Hey guys, my name is Dylan. I'm going to talk to you about a purchase I just made. My CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1 pistol. Holy mouthful. My first PCC pistol caliber carbine. PCCs, never something that interested me, never something I wanted or thought I needed. Until recently, my buddy got a Chris Vector, talks about it a lot. It was like, oh shit, I gotta get me in the game. So. I uh, dug into the internet, tried to figure out what I want, what I needed, what I, what fits me. Uh, that was a CZ Scorpion. I read all the reviews, watched all the videos, and I made the purchase. Uh, ordered from CZ directly. Uh, they shipped it to my FFL. Between ordering and going hands-on with it, it was three days. It got here super fast. So, Scorpions, never, ever have I ever had any hands-on experience. Even with my stint in the military and law enforcement, it's never been a firearm I had the opportunity to play with. So I still haven't shot it. And it's embarrassing to say that I'm making this video talking about a firearm I've never shot. But this is like my unboxing, my first impression, what I think of this thing. I just took it out of the box. Um, so I'll show you. And we'll, we'll talk about my pros and cons and what I like and everything about that. So... This weapon is safe. Don't destroy me in the comments when I'm pointing it around and whatnot. I went ahead. I got the Scorpion with a flash can on it. Um, still has your traditional 7.7 inch barrel. Uh, just that 5 inch flash can. And Magpul went ahead and made this awesome forend here with your M-lock slots. Uh, that goes just a hair short of your flash can. So you can still access that. Um, obviously what else it gives you is a little bit of a longer... Um, firearm here, a little more uh, sight space, uh, this mil spec rail, a little more room on that. I like it. So I'm a big AR guy and all my ARs have longer barrels on them. I like a wide grip. And so from transitioning to an AR to this, um, it's a pretty smooth transition because I can still reach out and get that grip I'm kind of accustomed to. So for me, huge pro uh, on that end of that. So also, I went ahead and I got the CZ folding brace here. $200, pretty much any website you go to is consistently $200. I felt good paying that price. So, attachment, um, install is super easy. It just slid in, locked into place, and it's sturdy and it's firm and it doesn't move and there's no play. And it's just an awesome add-on to, to this firearm. Going through the rest of this, kind of talking about it, the first thing I notice whenever I pick up a firearm is the balance. Uh, and this thing super well balanced. Um, it doesn't pull to either end. All the weight's right where it needs to be, and it's very impressive. Talking about weight, 5.7 pounds for the Scorpion and the can. Adding the brace, I don't know the exact weight. It can't be much more. It's a super light part. So, not a heavy gun, a very well-balanced gun, however. Looking at this, all the pictures I saw online, CZ had like their very own low-profile uh, front and rear sight on it. They sent me mine with these Magpul pop-ups, which I'm not mad about. It was kind of a happy surprise. I think their Magpul makes a great product here. So, I like that. I threw this Burris Red Dot on only because it was laying around my house and I had no other use for it. I ordered a Hollow Sun Red Dot that's in the mail. It's still a few days out, so that will replace this. But I like a low-profile optic, and this sits really well, and it seems to work from just pointing it and clearing my own house, goofing around and whatnot. So that's great. So diving into the rest of this guy's very ambidextrous gun, which is big for me because I have a left-handed friend who likes to shoot my stuff. So your safety selector switch, uh, you can hit that from both sides. Uh, same with your mag release right down here. Uh, your charging handle, um, you can pop the pin, flip that to the other side. So left-handed guys, uh, you can switch that charging handle. Everything down to the, you know, the ejection port here, you can you can swap. But left-handed guys, I'm sure you're accustomed to that. Uh, I feel bad for you guys. I'm sorry, but otherwise, it's a very ambidextrous gun. Other kind of cool comforts and stuff they added to this is your pistol grip is adjustable. Uh, they have a pin here. You loosen that and you can kind of slide it forward and backwards to get the perfect grip that is comfortable for you to access that trigger. Diving into the trigger, um, from research and 
some dry fire. It's a heavy trigger pull. It's about nine pounds. I did find some replacement parts online for about ten dollars. It knocks it down to a five pound trigger pull. I've ordered that. I'm gonna make that change here soon. Um, otherwise, not a lot of changes I'm gonna make to this besides adding some accessories. I have a light. Um, I had this. I put this hand stop here at the end. This is a Magpul hand stop. Obviously, with the ATF policy on. Uh, whatever stocks you put on a pistol, you have to be careful, but I went with this hand stop and it's great. My only thing is like, I like the flow of a firearm and a smooth and pretty and there's a lip on this because the hand guard is not as wide as this hand stop. So this, uh, this lip just drives me crazy. So I'm gonna probably replace that here soon, but that's just me uh, and my own little tick. Uh, outside of that, I'm very, very happy with just holding this and possessing it uh, without putting rounds through it. I'm, I'm in love with it. Uh, mine came with two 20 round magazines here, um, which is more than enough for me. So cons, I, I don't see a lot of cons on this so far outside of shooting it. Uh, reading online, your safety selectors, uh, selector switch, when you pop that down um, and you go to access the trigger, it kind of points right into that knuckle right there. And I can see how that's annoying. Um, I did search the internet and I found some different uh, selector switches you can swap this out with. But yeah, that definitely like on my grip definitely digs kind of into my knuckle and I don't like that. Beyond that, just super pumped about this thing. Um, you know, the, the kind of the, the appeal to the Scorpion is a small compact um, PCC. Obviously by adding this longer fore end here, and getting your flash can, uh, it adds a little length to it, but folding it up, you know, I can still conceal it into a pack or anything if I go out, and I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm very happy I spent this money. Um, if you look at the Scorpion with a flash can, you're probably looking right around $850 to $900, I, maybe even a little more. Uh, adding the brace, like I said, $200, you can do the math to what that adds up to. Otherwise, for the price, especially compared to other PCCs, I'm, I'm happy. So I'm going to go out, I'm going to shoot it here soon. I'll make some videos of that, hopefully post that uh, on here as well. So if you want to subscribe, otherwise comment, let's talk about this thing. Tell me, tell me if you have one of these, what you've done to it. That's, that's helped out. Give me some pointers, some help here. Otherwise, if you have any questions I, I can answer, I'd love to do that for you guys. But CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1 pistol, my first PCC. Uh, I'm in love. I haven't, I haven't put it down since I got it. Uh, thank you, guys.